And good morning. I wanted to start off with a look at our radar right here. So what you're going to be seeing is a radar loop from the evening time. And I put a little pause on here so that you're going to notice where we have some of that snow. This was at 11 p.m. last night, and you can certainly see all the white stuff on the screen, even into Catoosa County and Valley locations still had some of that snow that was coming down. Grundy County, especially some of those blue colors indicating some heavy your batches and again this is a replay this was at 11 p.m. let me continue to push it forward in time you can still see some of that snow this is about 1 30 in the morning time really picking up on either side of the Sequatchie Valley that snow off to the east as well and then we'll continue to kind of loop through so we'll do one more run through and you can certainly see that transition from the green to the pink to the white stuff that happened last night into the overnight hours at this point on the radar there's really not much on the screen so a couple of spitting snow Snowflakes left over. It's mainly what already previously happened. Now, with that in mind, road temperatures across the area are generally above the freezing point, where we do have a kind of borderline, particularly our portions of Grundy, Sequatchie, Bledsoe, Van Buren counties. Uh, but even check out where it's very close to that freezing mark in DeKalb County, up into Dade County in Georgia. So just watch out for the potential of a couple of slick spots. Most of that snow, though, is going to be on those grassy surfaces. Um, but if especially overpasses bridges wanting to watch out for that this morning. As far as our headlines go, we do generally have quieter weather for today. Cooler conditions today as well. High temperatures ranging from 40 to 45 degrees with decreasing clouds. Now tonight it's going to be at or below freezing clear as well. So clouds are going to start to decrease this afternoon. Really clear out tonight. Milder air Thursday and Friday with high temperatures in the 50s. And then we're going to have the storms in windy condition on Friday as well. So let's kind of take a look at that at future cast. You can see this morning time. We still have the clouds. This is the trough that reaches up to the low that this was the powerful system that brought us all the rain and the wind yesterday. So as we're looking at the rest of your Wednesday, clouds are going to be decreasing. I think Futurecast is going a little bit too quick with showing complete clearing for the afternoon. Do we still expect to have some clouds this Wednesday afternoon, but then really clearing out during the overnight hours. As we look ahead to tomorrow, that wind picks up from the south. So tomorrow will be a milder day with those high temperatures in the 50s and a mostly sunny sky. Again, Pretty quiet conditions for today and tomorrow. Friday, that's going to be our next really active weather day. That's when we have the rain and the storms pushing into our area. We will have the risk on Friday of an isolated severe storm even. So like yesterday, it will just simply be breezy and gusty. Plus we have that isolated severe storm risk. Here comes that front passing through behind it. Colder air that will settle in for your weekend. So when we look ahead to the severe outlook for Friday, the biggest risk is going to be down to our southeast, but we do see our area colored in in that level one marginal risk. Plus you have the rain, which could lead to some localized flooding. Plus you have that strong gusty wind once again with gusts at 40 to 50 miles per hour. So we don't have to worry about that till Friday. Today we all get to breathe a little bit after all the active weather yesterday. Mostly cloudy, still a little bit some morning time gusts, but from the afternoon wind from the southwest at about 10 miles per hour, 45 degrees for your high temperature. Tonight clouds finish clearing out, it'll, so it'll be clear and cold, just a stray cloud, 32 degrees. And then tomorrow, 57, mostly sunny. Really, it's going to be a pleasant January day. And then as we look at that seven day forecast, Friday, that's going to be the next day to watch. Saturday and Sunday, quieter weather for the weekend. It will be cooler. And then after that, we'll also have to keep an eye on Monday with the potential of some wintry mix and snow. Uh, still, that's pretty far away. That's day six, but that's something we'll certainly be watching. Um, before that, we will deal with Friday. Uh, more wind on Friday. The ground mm. at this point is mm -hmm. saturated. So with additional rain on top of that, we could see more trees coming down and those power outages as well. All right. All right. Thanks, Allison. Mm -hmm.